Let's dance. So remember back in December when I, I went looking for a movie called Girl Quake and it didn't exist? I'm like, oh man, uh, lost movie. C can't find this lost movie. Um, I found it. <laughs> so I chased down a couple of leads back in January, but none of them really went anywhere. And I kind of didn't dig much further. Um, but just recently, I'm like, you know what, uh, let's, let's take one more crack at it. Let's see if we can't find anything. Let, let's just, just make sure we've exhausted all of our leads here. And, uh, I, I, I knew the director of this film was an artist from New York. So I googled Michael Randall artist or some, something to that effect. I might even have said Michael Randall artist New York. But I found his, a webpage for a painter named Michael Randall based out of New York with a contact page. So I, I emailed him and I asked, hey, are you the Michael Randall who directed Girlquake? And if so, uh, could you answer a few questions for me? And he said, yes, that was me. I directed that movie and I would be happy to answer any questions you have about it. So I asked him a couple questions and he offered to send me a DVD of the film. This is the 25th anniversary edition of Girl Quake, which he, he printed a few copies of, I think just for like friends, other cast members, people who wanted it. So I, I do now have a copy of Girl Quake in my possession. We, we'll talk about that in a minute, but first I wanted to go over uh, some of the questions I gave him and the answers he gave me, just to sort of help unravel the mystery of Girl Quake. So the questions I asked are in black, the answers he gave are in red. Uh, he was very helpful with that. Uh, makes for a very nice screenshot. I said, I think the first and most obvious question is, do you still have the movie? Yep, in fact, about a year and a half ago, I put out some 25th anniversary DVDs. Be happy to send you one if you give me your mailing address and can still play DVDs. Additionally, are there any promotional materials like posters, stills, or trailers that you'd be able to pass on? Somewhere, this was 25 years ago, let me dig around. I'm pretty sure I can find a digital press kit of some kind. We'll send if I do. He did later email me about this and said he couldn't find the digital press kit, so maybe that'll show back up, but probably not. Thirdly, when and where was the film shown? Did it have any type of wide release or was it pretty limited? Let's just say extremely limited. For budget reasons, was shot on film but never cut on film, but I did have a bunch of digital screenings in old venues in New York City and a few in Japan. Friends have told me for a while it was playing pretty non-stop on the TVs at a couple of lesbian bars in New York City. Which is a great compliment to the film. I, I can only dream of making something that runs constantly at lesbian bars. And finally, was there ever a home media release? And if not, was there a reason or was it simply a lack of interest from distributors? Sad saga of bottom feeders in movie business. Shifty sales agents took it and sold rights to it without my permission. Never saw a dime. Not sure what they even sold since I kept the master and they only had poor quality video screeners. Basically was pretty broke after making the movie and didn't want to get into protracted, expensive legal battles, so I've just been sitting on it. Spent the past 25 years writing and directing industrials for money. So yeah, it's an all too common story about a filmmaker who got fucked over by distributors. Uh, they didn't even release the movie, which like, come on, the movie's done. You can make some money off of it. I even asked him about this specific DVD release uh, before I had actually received it and seen that it was in a CD case. I, I asked if this was being sold anywhere, if this was like an official release, and he said, no, this is just something he put together because he doesn't know who owns the rights or who thinks they own the rights. <laughs> and he doesn't want to get in a big battle, legal battle over it, so... He's just been keeping this one on the down low. So, for preservation's sake, I have uploaded this to my Google Drive. Uh, I now have a copy of this movie. There is one little problem. The DVD he sent me uh, kind of skips out at the 38 second mark. 
And if you just go past the 38 second mark, it's not a problem. But the rip I got is from the 40 second mark onward. So you're missing about the first 40 seconds. I'm gonna try to stitch that back in there, but I, I can't promise I'm gonna be able to do it. In the ground, all around, girl, quake, girl, quake. It is not the best transfer. There's one or two glitches, a little screen tearing, but not the best transfer is better than no transfer. Also, even though Mr. Randall couldn't get back to me with any, uh, promotional stuff, I have gone ahead and scanned the cover and, uh, the inside cover, which has all the credits on it. Back of this disc here has some quotes from reviews of the film. On the cover, it has the Joe Bob Briggs <laughs> review, which is funny to me, because Joe Bob Briggs is how I even found this movie. But uh, there's quotes here from the New York Post, New York Times, New York Press, and Village Voice. Which is odd, because I wasn't able to find reviews from any of those people online. So, it was the mid-90s, so maybe that stuff has not been preserved. But uh, quotes on the back of the box here from reviews that are not online. I also want to point out that on the disc he has written copyright 1994, which I believe is what it also says in the film. I said it was 95 because that's when Joe Bob Briggs reviewed it. Um, I guess it came out in 94. It was finished in 94 at the very least. Whether or not that's when it actually came out is still a little up in the air. I did ask when it came out and he just kind of said over 25 years ago. But hey, uh, we've got it now, and we've got a story on why it went missing. Um, on the one hand, it feels a little anticlimactic. I just, I found the director pretty easily, honestly, and just asked him for the movie. But on the other hand, I wish all lost media was that easy to find. I wish you could just go, oh, hey, this movie's missing. Let me email the director. Oh, here it is. So, uh, yes, um, I, uh, I, I did find it very, very easily not an exciting story. I do think I'm gonna have to cite myself on the Lost Media Wiki, so this video will not be monetized because it is my source for finding this movie. So, hello, Lost Media Wiki. Here is proof that Girl Quake has been found. I have it. So yeah, that's a little exciting. Girl Quake has been found. And uh, since this DVD was never for sale anywhere, that makes it the rarest thing in my collection. Even though it's the thing people would probably care about the least. Uh, until next time, I'm Matt, and let's all find some more movies, why don't we?